We's about to have a fuel system party, and you're invited. Yes, you. Time to pull a fuel tank. We've got this awesome unit that drops in the fuel tank that we picked up from Holly. But of course we have to pull the tank to do it. And my fuel gauge hasn't worked back here for a while anyways. So it'll be exciting to have it down, figure out why that is. And we'll run our hoses to the front for the fuel lines and start hooking the fuel injection up. It's cool. Out here in the shop this morning by myself because Emily's at a modeling job and I have a really fun project. I'm going to put the fuel pump system in. Uh, it comes with the filter on the bottom, the fuel pump, it comes with the housing on the top to bolt it down. And I'm noticing one thing I have wrong. I've got a, I don't know what you would call this, it's basically where they seam the tank together. And if I try to bolt a gasket to that, and that's my only flat surface, if I try to bolt a gasket to that, I'm gonna end up with a situation where I have a gap underneath it. This is the size of the hole and the best place for it's right there. So I've washed this out with soap and water so there's no gas in it and I actually left a little bit of water in the bottom. I'm gonna cut this and I'll get my welder and I'll weld this seam and make that smooth so that we have a really good mounting surface for that gasket. This is a unit that we're gonna be using, it's from Holly. It's really awesome. I like this flange on the top and the way they designed it. They've got these locks It'll basically flip around and clamp the tank. So it doesn't matter how thick your tank is, it'll clamp it down. It's also got this really nice foam gasket that's gonna go on it. And you know, it's, it's such a good gasket, it might actually push in that area I'm concerned about, but I'm gonna fix it anyways. You can see that's an awesome unit. We did an inline pump on the Datsun and it's been terrible. It gets hot, um, I guess because it's not submerged in the fuel, it just overheats and we just keep blowing through pumps. So I wanna do one of these on Zen as well. It comes with the sock on the bottom. That's pretty slick. And then this rod, let me see if I can pull it out. This rod is really cool. It's designed where you can set your pump at any depth. So you measure it and then set it where you need it. And I'm assuming you can cut whatever's excess off if this is too long to go in the tank. We'll see. Instructions call for a three and quarter inch hole saw. So I went and bought one of those. And I'm just gonna center that thing up. This is the driver's side of the vehicle. That's the filler neck. Uh, those are the old fuel lines. So we'll be capping those off. And I've got a crossbar that runs about right here and the body's up here, so I am clear. I'm just gonna send my hoses straight forward and then we'll work them up into the frame. Seems pretty simple. We'll see if it is once we get going. So here you can see that little channel it goes down in there quite a bit. I'm just concerned about the gasket trying to seal on that. So I may be doing this wrong, but in theory, in my mind, if I just do a little bit of weld where that gasket's gonna be and then grind it off smooth, that'll give me a pretty good surface. Found these at my local hardware store. This is my favorite setup for these hole saws. It's a quick chuck like you would have on your air gun or something like that. And then you have all your different sizes. Pretty freaking slick. And it's in. You got your pilot there and just drill it. See how wide that thing is. I'll make sure I don't get in this area with the actual bulkhead. That'll work. 
Oh man, there's like a frame that goes underneath it. I can see it now. So we're gonna have to cut this top piece off and then drill all the way through that whole inner structure. Might have to reinforce that somehow. And we've got a tube running down there as well. Let's we'll deal with that. Okay, we'll get it. What's that piece? Down here? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Here's what we're working with. This tube is the vent. Goes right there. That dude. So I don't want to damage that. I'm just going to push it back. So get it back here as far as I can so it's out of my way. These two are not important anymore. So I'm just going to bend them the other way out of the way. And this is the area I was talking about. You can see that little area. That's where I'm gonna put a little weld and bring that metal up so it's all flush. It doesn't feel weak, so I'm not gonna worry about this support that was in there. If it was even a support, I don't know what it was. This freshly cut metal is some pretty nasty stuff, so I'll put my gloves on. Gloves are freaking awesome, by the way. Love them. I'd be curious how many of you really have a better time in the shop with music going. That's why I have my headphones in. I recently realized we spent five years in the shop working on stuff without music because we're recording all the time. And I finally realized I'm just gonna put my headphones in. We're committed now. That's not going back to stock. I don't know why you want to though. You know what? I think I'm doing this wrong. I'm gonna cut that off over here in the corner and then push it back. Cause I've got this massive piece in there that is gonna be hard to get off. If you're curious what I'm listening to, it's Texas country. I love it. Not every day, but today I do. Man, this rolling cart just is not doing me any favors. Go ahead and pull this down. That's some pretty thin metal. Let's see if that works. Got my nifty apron on so I don't get holes in my t-shirt. See if this works. Actually, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to grind that a little bit. That's not gonna weld well. That's gonna work, I believe. A little bit more on this side, maybe. Sweet, I can see it glowing on the bottom, so I know it went through. All right, we can work with that. Hey, that's all we have now. Now that's gonna hold a gasket. Okay, I'm done. I was telling you guys these were the pickup and the return. That's not the case, those are vents as well. I don't know what I was thinking. The pickup went right there, which will reinstall and then cap those off. I am so lucky. I returned home from Dallas just in time to try and decipher instructions. All we know is we want this junk one inch off the bottom of the tank. So we've measured and our tank is 10 inches deep. So we're going to measure this stuff to hit at nine inches, get the pump off of the sediment, off of the water. Assuming there is any in our tank, we don't want to suck it up through the pump. Cut it off and install it. It's just going to be rad. This measures out to be 11 inches right now, so we want to take it down a couple of inches. So we're going to cut it at nine and the return line and also the piece that holds the pump up or down. <laughs> holds it tight, holds it secure inside the tank. Those aren't gonna work. Let's get our bracket on. Good to go. Feels sturdy. 
what's going on, y'all? Cool. It's pushed all the way down on there now. We uh, removed one of the hold down bolts and keepers so that we could access inside to get this clamp tight. So that's what we're going to. Okay, we've got two more hose clamps that we slide on to the actual pump and then around the bracket to secure it. So that's the next step of the plan. Got it all snug against the bracket. Everything is super sturdy. I like it. We'll reinstall this little hold down. We'll be all set up. It looks so good. Since the pump is all assembled and the bracketry is bolted up, we're gonna stick our screen on. It comes with a tiny little star locking washer. I got a tiny little socket to uh, help push it down on there. Alright, cool. That puppy ain't coming off. The instructions tell us that when you tighten the bolts, they flip out and then come and press on the back side of the tank. So that's what keeps your pump all tight and in place on the tank. There we go. That looks pretty. Ooh, put my gloves on. That thing's definitely tight on there. So it says they tighten to 40 to 60 inch pounds. We don't have an inch pound torque wrench, so we're gonna have to just put it. Yeah, it's that, solid that in there. Snugs in there. Cool. It's down. Good job. That thing is like in there. Yeah, it's not coming out. And looks good where I did the welding. Sealed up. Yep. Sweet. Good job. Thank you. Good job to you. You did all the work. He does all the work. Mm -hmm. He's freaking awesome. He's the real MVP in this situation. Whatever. Now that the fuel pump is in, on the next episode of the Bronco, you will see us reinstall the fuel tank and we build an entirely custom aluminum hardline fuel system from the tank all the way up to the Holly Sniper EFI which we also get a spacer for. <laughs> Thanks y'all on the comments that we needed that. Woo! Learning as we go, as y'all know. We also want to say that each of you are in our prayers with the virus COVID-19 affecting our whole lives. I know that my modeling and acting stuff has come to a screeching halt. Many people are losing their jobs and incomes and we just want to say, you're in our thoughts and prayers, and we love and appreciate each of you for watching, supporting, being who you are, and if there's anything we can do to help you guys, please let us know. We love y'all very much, and we'll see you next time.